Hello everyone, it is Wednesday, Wednesday, it's also the 29th, that's my birthday eve, my birthday is tomorrow, <laughs> so uh, yeah, if you want to send me anything, I'll like, put the address in there before, you can send me a card, happy birthday, I you can send me an electronic reading, I'll put my email address in here in case you want to send me an electronic, how do you do, Th happy birthday to you, uh, if you want to send me a coffee, there's buy my coffee on there. Whatever you want to do. Don't make too much of a fuss. I'm not that excited. Uh, in fact, when I turned 30, which is a big kind of uh, milestone birthday or whatever, uh, I was with my son, and we were at the zoo in Fort Worth, Texas. That's where we lived. And he asked me what day it was because he looked on a poster because he was old enough to read the poster. About seven, seven years old. And it was talking about some monkey event that was going to start in December. And he said, what's today? And I said, it's Saturday. I think, I think it was Saturday or Sunday. It might have not been because it might have been during the school break. So it could have been on a weekday. But I was thinking it was a Saturday. I can't remember. I can look it up. But he says to me, what is today? And I said, oh, it's Saturday, for example. And he said, oh, yeah, but what day of the month? I go, the 30th. I go, the 30th? No, uh, November 30th. And I go, oh, oh, that's my birthday. And it's my 30th birthday. And I totally forgot. That's so much I get fired up about that you know when you turn 10 years old maybe or 12 years old and maybe you have a birthday party and you're allowed to invite you know six friends over and you go see a movie or whatever uh, that kind of thing so I'm not that super super excited about it so if you forgot my birthday it's okay I forgot my birthday before but anyway so we're gonna do another restaurant here we did start another series on acting acting woo acting not necessarily acting it could be dancing or singing whatever entertainment it's about entertainment and how to find entertainment jobs what i do to find entertainment jobs what i did to start with zero dollars zero dollars zero training zero experience zero skill zero 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 contacts uh, i knew no one um, at the time, now that's not true. I know a lot of people, and they do book me. So it talks about my journey of that, and, and people say, "Well, what does that have to do with acting? And what does that have to do with uh, your journey, your healthy journey?" Well, it has a lot to do with it actually, because you exercise on on, on set. You have to be able to figure out what you're going to eat when you're on set. You know, what, what kind of foods can you eat? It's an abundance of food, folks. You can eat as much as you like. Yeah, as much as you like. <sighs> And sometimes you do. <laughs> there's donuts there. There's full-size candy bars. There's Captain Crunch. Yeah, a little machine that's going to pour Captain Crunch in a bowl like you can't see. The, 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 the free breakfasts at some of the hotels has milk. Uh, there's there's M&Ms of all types of variety. I mean, one place I went and had everything from, from the regular chocolate M&M you know, up to the pretzel one. It had peanut butter. It had peanut. It had almond. It had coffee bean or something like that in it. Wow. I gave myself a little sample. I took one of those little teen cups. Some people take a whole like cereal bowl and fill it up. I take a little cup and I fill it halfway full with like two of each one using a little tongue thing. Boop, boop, boop. No, not tongue, a little spoon. And that's what I eat. I tried it. It was, it was yummy. I, once in a while, yeah, sure. But yeah, it has a lot to do with it. It has a lot to do with this. It has a lot to do with being happy and fired up. And, you know, like uh, having a, a YouTube channel, for example, can, can help you uh, with your with your melon. Um, to make sure your melanin is squared away so you can be squared away so you can get out there you don't get depressed whatever so we do have a new one on that uh, and I, it, we have a playlist it now has I think two things in there it doesn't have it doesn't even have episode one it has an intro and then it has another one because I, I wanted to record episode one and then talk about the one that I did the video for but that was based on rush calls, and we may get some rush calls coming in, so I want to make sure I had that out there. So if you go on this channel to the playlist for the actor entertainment one, you you can see what's in there, and it talks about the intro, what we can do with the with the playlist. Um, I do have a whole list of topics. Um, what do they call that? <clears throat> I don't want to call it a playlist because they haven't been recorded yet. Maybe just like a a, a, a glossary or a table of contents of the channel. I don't know. But uh, we can get into that. So I will be doing another one of those probably today is Wednesday, maybe Friday night. Um, <clears throat> or maybe I'll even do it tomorrow, my birthday, and then publish it the next day. I don't want to publish too much at once. So this right here, what we're doing right now, is another menu. Uh, as you can probably see from the title, it is going to be a, a vegan restaurant. A vegan. People ask me, can you do a vegan restaurant? A vegan restaurant. Some vegan restaurants have a huge, huge menu because they try to make something taste like everything. Uh, you know, th Their food tastes like everything. They'll try to make a... Um, uh, 
there's some weather thing coming. They try to make it so that they have the, the best vegan spaghetti sauce and they, the best vegan uh, jerky, the best vegan hot dog, vegan everything, vegan ice cream, you know, you know, vegan whatever, and they sell plethora of keychains in the, in the lobby and they, they have um, uh, uh, vegan ding-dongs and vegan milk for your vegan cereal vegan mustard and vegan mayonnaise they don't use honey did you know that vegans don't use honey because it makes the bee work it's all about vegetables poor vegetables they say we love vegetables where they seem like they make everything out of vegetables so soybeans uh is used a lot tofu tofu um is used a lot as well so this is about kevin hart's vegan restaurant now i want to tell you something folks the one in LA might be doing gangbusters. The one in Monrovia, ooh, not too good. I go, I, I, I go to Panera next door and get coffee uh, every time, and there's no one in there. No one in there. They're standing around talking. There's no orders on the pickup for the delivery companies. There's no delivery drivers looking at their phone like, "Come on, man, where's my order?" I know because I, that's one of my side hustles. But um, nothing. When it first opened, it was very busy, but they were giving away free freebies. Uh, Emily, she won a, a hat, or I won the hat. I gave it to her. I can't remember. And we both got free burgers, free uh, a little coupon thing uh, for a free burger. Uh, we got one for free um, uh, tots. We got one for free something else. I think nuggets. Uh, all of that for free, and it was really crowded. Well, when it's no longer free, you know, uh, not too good. So the last couple times I've I've seen it, and that one was today, twice today. No one in there. No one, no one. Then I was delivering and I had a pickup from Uber Eats. Uber Eats, I don't deliver Uber people. Get in, let's have a ride. My car's too old now. And I don't want to do it because I don't like people. I barely like food. No, I, I do like people and I do like food. But <laughs> but I went in there twice. I went in there yesterday on a delivery. No, no one. And it was around I think, one o'clock in the afternoon or something like that. And he, no, not one o'clock in the afternoon. It been, what time was it? had something to do in the morning it was early uh it, it, it was like during the, the lunch rush and there was no lunch rush there's nobody there so please 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 uh if you like kevin hart if you think he's funny <laughs> if you like vegan food mm, delicious uh come on by and, and give them a shout uh, give them a, give them a, 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 a chance i do put other ones uh other videos for little mom and pop places that are having problems but some of the big corporates can have problems too kevin hart i think he's got a little uh, do re me but it doesn't mean we want his place to go out of business. Uh, so please support Kevin Hart's place, uh, Hart House, and I will be going over the menu. I'll tell you this, I did try the double burger. I ate the whole thing. Um, I gave Emily my coupon, so she got two burgers, and she took one home. And I tried some of that, and it was pretty good. And the nuggets were pretty good. I mean, yeah, the nuggets were good. Um, uh, did they taste exactly like chicken? I don't know. The burger was pretty good. Some of those fake burgers now are, are pretty good, you know. Uh, a lot of times they want them to have like red juice, like kind of like blood. But vegans are like, I don't want that. That's gross. So, can't please everyone. Hey, not even the vegans. So here we go. I'm going to turn the camera around. We're going to take a look. We'll talk about that. Uh, on this food right here, since I don't eat a lot of it, um, a lot of it I'll just say, hey, it's a vegan item. Um, it's something that I necessarily wouldn't eat. Now, I think the buns here, they, they have to be vegan because it's a vegan restaurant. Uh, they had a, when they came up with their first veggie burger, not a vegan burger, but, and not one of the uh, Beyond Burgers or Impossible Burgers. When they came with the first burger at Burger King, everybody was getting it, but then it turned out that the bun had milk. So my friend Emily, she is a vegetarian, not a vegan, so she was okay with it. But then it turned out it had some kind of meat in there, like like um, um, you know maybe gelatin or something was in there uh, in the buns. And so they have changed that since then. So let's go and take a look at this. I'm gonna pause it and flip it around. One second. 